the first thing that we're going to work on is the indication which is the dog's way of telling you that they're on the odour. In this tin is a little piece of red Kong and that is the odour that the dog is going to locate. So what we should see is that when Luna goes up to the pipe, she is going to hold her nose into the pipe and show me that she's got the, she's got the odour. Luna, find it. Yes. Find it. Yes. Now what I should be able to do is move around and add some distractions and Luna stays on the odour. Yes! As lo and, until I reward her. Find it. Okay, so what we're then going to do is we're going to add some more pipes and we're going to do a search. Find it. Find it. Find it. Yes! We're going to give her something smaller to look for. Find it. Yes, good girl. Let me tell you about your dog's nose, just a few facts. Your dog has the ability to find one dirty sock in 200 million clean ones. They could find a teaspoon of sugar in an Olympic sized swimming pool. Their nose is literally about 100,000 times better than our nose. Their nostrils work independently. They can also breathe in and out at the same time. If your dog is doing high frequency sniffing, like scent work, which Luna was just demoing, their respiration rate per minute can range from anywhere between 130 to 200 reps per minute. That's why they say scent work is exhausting. If you think of it, it's like mindfulness for dogs. 